Gerald Kaufman will talk about the White Clay Creek National Wild and Scenic River Shad Restoration Project. We're going to try to talk about 400 years of uh, environmental restoration in Delaware in about uh, 15 minutes. So we're going to talk about the White Clay Creek, which is the source of drinking water for about 20% of all of Delaware's population. During the pre-colonial era, uh, you know, fish like a shad were very plentiful. In 2000, uh, Joe Biden, when he was a U.S. senator, sponsored a bill to designate the White Clay Creek as a National Wild and Scenic River, and Bill Clinton signed it before he went out of office. So we get to this, this story here of the American shad. Water quality was really before during the 60s. The uh, dissolved oxygen levels in the Delaware River, zero, right? Hypoxic, anoxic. And um, there also the barriers were these dams that were constructed during the colonial era. Right? We uh, started a project with the White Clay Creek Wild and Scenic River and the National Park Service to start removing these dams one by one. So we had to balance the need to remove the dam for fish passage with the, uh, the need to preserve the uh, precious historic artifacts of colonial engineering. This is the removal, right? Stood for uh, was two and, uh, 240 years. Took us four to five years to get the permits and approvals. And the first week of December took three hours to remove the dam, okay? <laughs> but there is a uh, archeological uh, laboratory now that's storing these artifacts. And, uh, and then the shad were actually moving upstream all the way to Red Mill Road, which is the old historic mill dam. Right? 